Let's look at how to access the educator on a web browser. First, open a web browser such as a Google Chrome or any relevant web browser. And in the tab over here, type the URL which will be learn.acedigilearn.com slash org slash Diksha Network. Upon entering, click the login button. Kindly note, please do not click the sign up button. Click the login. Your login ID shall be your 10 digit SIP ID and your password will be your 10 digit SIP ID followed by your date of birth in DDMMYYYY format. Upon logging in, you shall find three tabs namely Home, Library, and Analytics. Let's go into Library, which is where all your learning and revision content will be. Click this drop down, select your learning module, you'll find all your subjects. Let's pick up one subject. In mathematics, you will find all the content that you want to learn, your tests, your reference material, everything under the modules column over here. Let's say you want to study matrix and determinants. Once you click that, here is where you find all the content. It will start with your NCRT books and then proceed to your different lectures. Please note these lectures are tagged to the lectures that happens in the campus. So the first few lectures will focus on the NCRT or otherwise known as the pre-university material and then the lectures following shall focus on your competitive examination. In this case for this chapter the first 12 lectures focus on PU and from lecture 13 onwards we shall start looking into competitive. For each lecture especially in the competitive you will have three different things which is the lecture PPT the same PPT that your teacher use in the campus you will find the ACE book and then you will find a homework as well. Let's say we attempt a homework. The homework are now in a test format which means in this case there are eight questions of eight marks total and there's a time allotted saying 32 minutes. When you are ready to take the test you all you need to do is go here click take this test. Once you start the test there is a timer that starts ticking on your right. Please note do not press the escape button or close button when you are doing the test because if you do so the test shall end and you will not be able to take it again. When you come to the last question of the test then submit it usually prompts if you don't attempt another subject or end exam. When you click end exam you will find four things immediately at the click of the button. First it tells you what your score is. In this case I got a four out of eight. It tells me that I stand second among five students who have attempted this test. It also tells the time that I have taken and how accurate I have I been in this test. If you want to deep dive and find out how you have done in each and every question, click on your answers. If I want to look at question number one, it tells me that my answer A is wrong and correct answer is B. And if I want to find why B is the right answer, I click on solutions and it tells me the reason why B is the correct answer. Let's go back to library. So we went into mathematics. We picked up a chapter matrices and determinants. We saw that there was NCRT book. There were lectures. Each lectures had respect to PPT, the ACE book and a homework attached to it. Once you're done with all the lectures, you find reference material in the form of PU question bank and a self-study. And after that, you will have assignments which are again split into three levels, standard, moderate and advanced. Now I would want to go back and see a few videos. So where do I find the videos? I come to library. Instead of learning module, I drop down and pick the revision module. And the rest follows. I will select mathematics. I come down to modules. In modules, I pick up matrices and determinant. And here is where I will find all my revision videos. Let's come back to the revision module, same mathematics. Now I want to practice a mock test. I come to the test column over here and here is where I will find my weekly mock test available. Let's now look at what is available at home. Once you click at home, it has three tabs, recent activity, doubts and people. Recent activity is pretty self-explanatory. Doubts is interesting. So I have a doubt while studying. All I need to do is come, click over here and then type the doubt that you have 
and then click on done and post the doubt becomes available immediately and you will find that this doubt is visible to every student for instance this is the doubt that some a student had posted you will find that a teacher has responded to it and at any point you want to ask a doubt personally to a specific teacher you can go to teacher click on this button and then ask them the doubt and then send thank you